imagine that a big employer comes to town. Uh, they're going to build solar collectors. They're going to hire 10,000 people. And uh, so they come to town, they've been there for a year, this is all new income to these the people in this economy. And so we're going to show what happens um, to the uh, demand for goods and services as a result of something called the multiplier. So let's say that uh, Sally here earns a thousand dollars and out of that thousand dollars she's going to save some and she's going to spend some. So we're going to use a uh, proportion here of saving 10 percent and spending 90 percent. So 10 percent of a thousand dollars gets saved that's a hundred dollars and 90% of that thousand dollars or 900 gets spent on goods and services so we have 900 in spending what did she spend it on rent gas food okay so all of those um, merchants or suppliers in the economy are receiving that nine hundred dollars what do they do with it well they are going to save 10%, so 10% of 900 is 90, goes into savings, and they're going to spend the other 90%, 90% of 900 is 810, and uh, what are they spending it on? Oh, maybe they bought a dog and they had to go to the vets, maybe they had some dental work that had to get done, oh, who knows, you know, goods and services, it's just more demand for goods and services in that economy. And those folks then, they are going to save 10% of that, which is 81. And they're going to save 90% of that, which is 729. You can follow along on the right there with the calculations that have already been done. All right, so $729 in this next round of spending. Some of that gets kind of shuttled off to the savings bank and so they're going to save 73 of it. They're going to turn around and spend the other 90%, which is 656. And on and on this goes, around and around and around, till eventually, because there's savings going on, and some of this money is getting siphoned out of this churning around of money in the economy, eventually it's all going to get spent. And so the remainder is this 6315. So the total amount that gets spent, if you add up the original $1,000 um, and then we've got 900 of that, 810 of that, 729 of that, 656 of that, and then the remainder 6,315, all of that added together, you come up with $10,000 in this case. Okay, ten thousand uh, dollars. There was an increase in demand for goods and services in this economy in the amount of ten thousand dollars. Why? Because the propensity for consuming was ninety percent, point nine. Okay, so the ten thousand dollars. We arrive at that. It's a function of the fact that everybody in this economy is going to spend 90 percent of their additional income now if the um, marginal propensity to consume instead of 90 percent was let's say 80 percent then this number would be smaller All right. you're not required to be able to calculate the multiplier we do that in macroeconomics in Econ 2105, but for this class, Survey of Economics, I'm not going to ask you to calculate the uh, multiplier, but I do want you to understand how the multiplier works, what kind of an impact it has, and when the multiplier is larger, then the net effect, the net positive effect to the economy is larger. When the multiplier is smaller, then the net effect on the economy is going to be smaller. Okay, so you can sit, think of the multiplier as being leverage. So we're leveraging up 
that initial spending that happens in the economy.